How we doing guys? So, we've got a John Deere M hood that my father painted for a tractor a few years back. And whether the gas evaporating around the cap or the primer he used, something didn't go right. Pulled some of the paint up on it, so as part of standing by our work, I told the person we did it for we'd get it fixed up for them. Um, they're gonna cover some of it, but I am going to uh, prime it with what I just did the last tractor in. Um, I use SPI, which is Southern Polyurethane. Um, friend of ours got us involved in using it. I use their black epoxy primer, and then I use a high build primer on it, block everything, and then I just use John Deere paint. That's what was on this hood. The, this hood was painted with restoration paint from Valspar, which is pretty old. Um, I've been using the newer Deere paint on them. Most tractors we do, people like them in single stage, like they were. It lays down pretty good. You may not put museum quality paint job on it, but I definitely try to put a paint job equal to what they had on them. Um, the other thing I like with this epoxy primer is I normally don't paint underneath the hoods. They weren't painted underneath from the factory. So I'll prime them. They're black underneath or at least prime so they don't get rusty. But uh, this one she takes off uh, to use it so she don't scratch it up. So this one I'll probably paint green underneath. But the last tractor is just primed. Um, their primer's got UV resistors in it, they use them for frames and stuff, and it's rated to not uh, not be top coated. So I also have got just the wheel wedges. My dad's restoring his, he's got a 1955, I believe, John Deere 50, he's restoring. Uh, I'm just gonna prime. We don't prime the actual mating surface on these. We just do these rings. Um, that way they don't have anything to uh, work loose. Uh, they'll rust back on there and they'll be on there forever. Um, but like I said, we'll, always prime what we see and and this back lip that goes behind the rim but the mating surface gets some overspray primer on it but we won't prime it actually so i'm just letting the primer induct right now and uh, it is a two-part catalyzed primer um, so it's got a 15 minute induction time don't mind that my bench is a mess i just run for a lot of my tractor stuff i've got a devilvis finish line gun i've got some nicer devilvis guns that i use for my base clear stuff but be honest uh, that gun right there is painted quite a few tractors I've had really good luck with it I'm actually planning on replacing it sooner than later here um, but it's great it'll be my trailer paint gun stuff like that whatever I have that's just uh, not finished work but like I said I'm gonna prime this hood with it this hood's gonna get filled with um, some mud I do all my bondo work on top of this epoxy primer it's rated for it I've had great luck with that so that's what I'll do I don't want to put the epoxy on top of the um, actual bondo or filler and pull the filler off the metal. The epoxy goes on the metal, um, just in my opinion. So I said it's worked great so far and that's what I'm going to keep doing. Um, but I'll get stuff around here and I'll get some footage of me spraying this. Here we go. All right, you guys won't be able to hear me because I'll be wearing a respirator, but we'll go ahead and uh, give this hood a coat of primer real quick. First coat here.
righty. Sorry I didn't say I had my respirator on until that fan cleared out. It's been about, oh, 20, 25 minutes here. It's all tacked off and it's ready for another coat. So we'll, uh, we'll get on it and give it another coat real quick. And I'm gonna click this off for a second. I'll spray them wedges first and then I'll click this on when I'm spraying and spray the hood with another coat of primer. And, and there'll be, uh, Usually I like to let this stuff sit for 24 hours. I'll probably let this sit a little longer, maybe two days, get 48 hours on it. And I'll do my uh, filler work on it. And we'll block it all out, uh, the filler end of it. And then we'll uh, do two coats of high build primer on it and block that all down. And then nothing more than shooting some green on it and making it look nice. So I'll spray these wedges and I'll bring you guys back here in just a minute. Alrighty, gave it a couple minutes to let the booth fan clear out the booth, and here it is. Obviously, it's still wet. You can see well, there's a, a patch up there in the corner we'll have to do some mud work with, but I'm not claiming to be a professional painter. And I'm not claiming that this is the best way to do it. It's just the way it works for me, and I've had great luck with it. If anyone's got any opinions or any questions, like I always say, put them in the comments. It won't hurt my feelings. Um, these tractors were probably painted by two guys, one standing on each side holding a paint gun uh, with the paint and the primer that was the cheapest bid that year. Um, so, got to keep that in mind. And like I said, this tractor's one of the ones we do. It's people don't want them in base clear or anything like that. They, they want a single stage paint job. They want them to relactor it's not really the word i'm looking for but mimic what they really were you know this is probably a little overboard but this hood's also got some dents and dings and stuff and it needs a little extra help than what it probably needed at the factory so i don't know if i'm going to just do a primer video on this or if i'll do all three parts of the base primer my filler primer with some sanding and uh painting so i guess we'll see but Alrighty guys, have a good one if this is the end. If not, uh, I'll see you in a couple days when we're starting to do some body work on this and dressing it out and getting it ready for the next coat of primer. Alrighty, have a good one. Alrighty, fast forward a couple days. Um, I got a chance to get working on this hood again. Um, I did uh, go ahead and do the body work. Um, a little spot I'm not too impressed with, but this going on a tractor. Um, so I use Evercoat, I think it's the Rage Gold or Rage Ultra filler, so it sands nice, it turns out nice, it may be a little bit overkill for a farm tractor, but um, I'll go ahead and we'll get the build primer on it. I will do most likely an extra coat where I did my mud work, so I'll probably hit these spots first, and then I'll actually come back and do two coats on top of them. So I'll get the gun set up here and get stuff mixed up, and I'll bring you guys back when I get ready to spray. All right, I'm gonna do my first coat, like I said, where I done my body work, and I'll just spot, spot prime them, and we'll let it sit for a few minutes, and we'll prime the whole hood. So I'll get the gun basket from my respirator on, and we'll do it.
All right, guys. Once again, skipping ahead. I have the hood wet sanded and ready to spray. Like I said, on the back side, I don't worry about any filler primer or build primer. Uh, epoxy primer can be painted right over, so I scuff it a hair bit and it should be ready. So I've got my paint mixed up. So this is just John Deere paint. Um, I did some playing around. This hood was painted with restoration paint and it matches up with the ag and turf green instead of the classic green of the best. So I'm painting this with ag and turf green. I just wanted to kind of do a quick walk around. This is the day after with the hood. Like I said, it's not the best body work, but for a tractor, it still gets used to cultivate and stuff. It didn't turn out too bad. So I said, it's just John Deere paint. There's no clear or anything on that. I appreciate you guys watching. Maybe I'll do some paint series or something on how I do all my paint work. But as for this one, uh, 
get it back to her and she can get back on the tractor. She's gonna put the decals on her herself. So I'm just gonna let it set up good and get it to her and call this job done. Thanks again for watching guys.